2019 Land Rover Discovery SUV Review The good points of Land Rover Discovery SUV Despite its size, it's surprisingly economical. Good off-road, and great drive an automobile on it. 7 forward-facing seats, electrically operated. The bad points of Land Rover Discovery SUV Premium pricing, with costly options. The styling still divides opinions. Do you actually need something quite so massive? The fifth generation Discovery may be the centerpiece in the Land Rover product lineup, and therefore is easily one of the most important model from the range, even when it doesn't sell essentially the most. It's a distinctive prospect on the previous four incarnations, losing most of its famous rugged charm. The way it looks has divided Discovery lovers everywhere. But there's no denying that Land Rover has generated a premium product, that's engineered beautifully, and will have multitude of appeal for many who want make use of their Disco for their primary vehicle, rather than feel they're compromised on road by its mud-plugging DNA. The Discovery finds itself for passing fancy shopping lists as other upscale off-roaders, for example the RDQ7, BMW X5 and Mercedes-Benz GLE, which can't wish to keep up using the Land Rover off-road. Land Rover Discovery, family-friendly tech. It now feels far more like a luxury vehicle but without sacrificing practicality. Refreshingly the great modestly priced versions are arguably the best from the range, the SD4 engine will be the pick with the bunch, while both money and weight is usually saved by deciding on the manual seat folding mechanism. It would be the most practical car inside the class, and also virtue on this and its even stronger image it will be first selection for many buyers. Improved efficiency, stronger engines within the Land Rover Discovery. As having its Range Rover and Range Rover Sport system models, the Discovery moves to a more sophisticated aluminium body and chassis in reducing weight and improved efficiency. Depending around the model, the load saving is just as much as 450 kg above the old car, while it remains a considerable and relatively heavy model at 2.1 tons even just in its lightest form. Where it can do lag behind the opposition will be the lack of a mild hybrid or plug-in hybrid version. Land Rover is invested in electrifying its range, but that is taking time, and we've yet to listen to when the Range Rover Fest plug-in driver train could make it to your disco. So, if you want to move clear of diesel, the most beneficial option would be the 2.0-litre four-cylinder C4 model. The UK range depends on a twin-turbo four-cylinder British-made and designed Ingenium diesel engine, developing 240 horsepower at 4,000 revolutions per minute. Land Rover claims that despite having this smaller engine, the Discovery can cover the 0 to 62 miles per hour run in 8.0 seconds. The turbocharged 3.0-litre V6 turbo diesel, 260 horsepower, as well as the impressive supercharged 3.0-litre V6 petrol, developing 340 horsepower are available if you are after for more power as well as four-wheel drive hardware from the Land Rover Discovery. Its permanent four-wheel drive system drives with an 8-speed automatic gearbox, while using now ubiquitous, to Jaguar Land Rover, cylindric or gear selector. To ensure it's as impressive off-road since its predecessors, they are available in a low-ratio transfer case to the ultimate in mud plugging ability. In addition, the Discovery receives each one of Land Rover's terrain response systems. There is a collection of off-road driving modes, which in addition to making essentially the most of its four-wheel drive system, uses clever electronics to maintain it from spinning its wheels in the event the going gets tough. Currently, the Discovery will be the most capable off-road a Land Rover has ever produced. It carries a 900mm weighting depth, and its particular maximum ground clearance is 283mm. Not only that, but it really has half a metre of axle articulation which suggests it can manage huge potholes and obstacles that get within the way of one for reds. The Land Rover Discovery's styling divides opinions. Final word. Despite its sophisticated new looks, which ape those in the smaller Discovery Sport, 
It's hugely capable dirt. The smoother look is very much taking some adjusting to for older Discovery owners, though. Some details for example the stepped side windows and lopsided tailgate undoubtedly are a brave make an effort to link it using the past. It is clearly a vehicle that takes its maker up market to battle the Germans head on. Performance all engine versions are fitted with all the 8-speed automatic transmission used elsewhere on Land Rover products, and it's well suited to your car's nature. With 240 horsepower, the entry-level SD4 diesel model delivers performance that in the majority of circumstances is perfectly adequate, taking 8.3 seconds to succeed in from 0 to 62 miles per hour, four-cylinder Land Rover Discovery petrol and diesel. It is actually comparatively refined to get a four-cylinder diesel and acceleration is using a par with the class if far away from quick. But again, this really is within the expectation of the car. Refinement is a useful one rather than exceptional. Nevertheless the Ingenium four-cylinder diesel engine is quieter in comparison to other Jaguar and Land Rover vehicles. Introduced per year after the launch. The C4 petrol discovery was added towards the range to present buyers who want to advance away from diesel a different option. With 300 horsepower, this 2.0 litre four cylinder discovery certainly doesn't lack power, which implies it turns in the impressive number of performance figures. Land Rover claims a 0 to 62 miles per hour period of 7.3 seconds, that's respectable enough. Official fuel consumption figure is 29.4 miles per gallon, combined NEDC, as well as its CO2 output is 222 grams slash km, which puts it inside the 37% tax band. Land Rover Discovery 6-cylinder engine options The V6 diesel option brings additional torque minus 700 newton meters compared to 500 newton meters, and a different 66 horsepower. Acceleration to 62 miles per hour is lessened to 7.5 seconds because of this, but until you plan to tow over a regular basis the extra cost is not worthwhile, with all the official fuel consumption figure dropping as a result of around 28.3 miles per gallon and 31.6 miles per gallon for the WLTP system. Handling The Discovery is biased for comfort, thus it rolls in bends. Slow steering ideal to leisurely driving. Once you're familiar with it, the disco handles very well. On air suspension, standard on all cars within the UK, and using the V6 at the start, the Discovery steers having an assured sharpness although you're alert to all the mass how the suspension has to cope with. The comfort bias is entirely appropriate for a motor vehicle that is apart meant to be to be used for carrying people along with their luggage rather than storming down B roads. However, if they should try and hurry it along it's going to do so, if the little reluctantly. It seems obvious to mention it, but Discovery is less engaging and capable as opposed to Range Rover Sport, but less yacht-like compared to Range Rover. Which is what you'd expect due to the Discovery's position in Land Rover's lineup. Pay your cash and take your option. Behind the wheel. Land Rover that isn't far off Range Rover luxury infotainment system basic and logical to utilize electrically folding seats undoubtedly are a nice touch the discovery is large inside and compared with all the old one more space continues to be freed up around the cabin that's down on the longer wheelbase additional length involving the front and rear wheels plus much more efficient using space as well as more room for your rearmost set of two rows there's additional benefit on the driver, too. Up front, there is certainly plenty of space on the lofty seating position, even though seats are relatively lower placed in relation towards the side windows to enhance headroom. Head and legroom is comfortable for people up to 6 feet in height at the very least. The driver, and family, isn't less than space, and Land Rover claims there's 45 litres of storage room alone in advance. This includes a deep center console and also a hidden area behind the ventilation controls. Compared with earlier discoveries, this one's infotainment and media technique is simpler to work with and more responsive than before. Material quality is about with a par for which you'd expect to the money. 
there's a good amount of leather and most with the cabin plastics feel decent, and although an Audi Q7 feels more tightly created with fractionally better plastics, the Discovery's layout is easier around the eye. The best quality materials are kept higher up within the doors, good for individuals who are planning to get in and out with muddy boots. Comfort Great ride comfort at speed. Rough roads are shrugged using ease. Rear seat room much improved over old model. As expected, the Discovery is usually a supremely comfortable car. It switches to a more sophisticated suspension create shared using the Range Rover, meaning double wishbones for the front along with a multi-link axle with the rear. The upshot is the fact that on all roads, ride quality is superb. Riding on air suspension it can be clearly tuned for ride comfort over handling, even when it also gains a quicker acting steering rack taken from your Range Rover Sport. Most road disturbances are addressed easily, with only smaller, sharper bumps registering any discomfort within the cabin. Noise levels are wonderful if not the most effective in class, while seat comfort is very useful. The Discovery is simple to place for the road and feels stable even managing more enthusiastic driving and relative comfort. Equipment The Land Rover Discovery is well equipped, as you'd expect. Optional extras might be very costly. Infotainment provides improvement over before, but nevertheless not the most effective. There are four trim levels, S, C, HSE and HSE Luxury. Even the lowest models ride on 19-inch alloy wheels are available with autonomous emergency braking, a lane departure warning, climate control and Land Rover's 8.0-inch in-control infotainment system. With the say you will get Parking sensors Leather upholstery Sat-nav LED headlights Electrically adjustable and heated front seats Dual zone climate control. Step up on the HSE therefore you add. Panoramic roof. Reversing camera. Heated rear seats. 10 inch touch screen infotainment. The HSE luxury model adds. Rear entertainment package. Ventilated seats overall. 360 degree camera system. 4-zone climate control 21-inch alloy wheels Meridian head unit The Discovery can even be fitted with nearly 9 USB ports. HDMI ports can be purchased in rows 1 and a couple and all 7 seats could be heated too, giving every occupant similar numbers of comfort. Safety Plenty of safety kit included as standard. A full 5-star rating from the Euro and Cap test. Cutting edge driver assistance tech available. The Land Rover Discovery carries a full suite of safety kit fitted as standard, and scored a Euro and Cap crash test rating of 5 stars when tested in 2017. Standard equipment includes Audible seat belt warning, including third row. Front side impact airbags hazard lights under heavy braking. Parametric alarm. Roll over deployment of restraints. Side curtain airbags. Front passenger seat isofix. Third row isofix. Adaptive cruise control with Q assist. Lane departure warning. Driver condition monitor. Lane keep assist. Rear parking aid. Front parking aid. 360 degrees parking aid. Park assist. Rear view camera. Surround camera system. Traffic sign recognition and intelligent speed limiter. Blind spot monitor and reverse traffic detection. Blind spot assist, interior and boot space. Few cars come as accommodating because but you only pay for it regarding length and width. Lots of safekeeping for family knickknacks. The Discovery is a substantial car, so when expected, 
it's usefully sized for around 7 adults. If you wish to make full use with the huge boot, you need to drop at the very least the third row of seats. There's lots of space in advance, row 2 offers 3 seats appropriate for adults, and also the final 2 seats are also suited to adults. Head and legroom is comfortable for people up to 6 feet in height a minimum of. The intelligent seat fold allows the 5 rear seats for being individually folded or raised through the central touch screen technology, buttons around the seats themselves or within the boot and in addition via a dedicated cellular phone app. The system can fold the many seats in 14 seconds when operated correctly. However it takes a little practice to navigate the menus and be sure the safety measures aren't triggered which halts the electric mechanisms. The automatic seat droppers are undeniably cool though, take a glance for yourself.